today we're going to do the 500 round update for the Silencer Co. Maxim 9. Got some good outdoor shooting video uh, that we will roll in after um, this, but um, we had a great day today out at the range. 500 rounds in, um, I am going to take the gun apart tonight and clean it again. I highly recommend uh, every 200 to 250 rounds at the very least. Um, you break the threads on these open uh, because much like the salvo the these are there are guide rods internally here and they will actually get gunked with carbon and that will make the breakdown process more difficult than it needs to be so if every 200 250 rounds if you at least break these guide rods open and pull them out and scrub the carbon off them um, that will go a long way uh, to keeping your gun uh, in good working order and uh, not a not a total pain in the butt to uh, break down and clean. No problems with the RMR. We um, actually managed to make some shots out at to 100 yards, um, you know, which is of course well beyond the typical range of a handgun. But with this handgun, I proved uh, that you can do it. So um, if you're interested in watching the shooting footage, uh, please stay tuned, and I will roll that footage in after that. All in all, I'm very happy with the gun. I think the first 500 rounds were a huge success, and I look forward to a long lifetime, long happy lifetime of the gun. Um, the trigger is definitely working itself in. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I think I think it's fine. It's a little on the heavy side, but it is very, very, very crisp. So, uh, but it is slicking itself in, and I think it's probably lightening up a little bit. So that's good. Uh, didn't have any problems with feeding today, uh, 500 rounds. We have only had that single, we had one single round that failed to fire, and that was probably ammo related uh, because we haven't had any light primer strikes or anything else since then. So happy to report that in 500 rounds, we don't uh, have anything that appears to be um, gun related. Uh, once we get a holster for this thing, we are. I am going to shoot it. In a USPSA match I took a very hard look at the rules and it seems like this gun is legal in the open division so I will be shooting open minor uh, in USPSA uh, the, the only thing to worry about of course is the fact that the shot timer uh, might not pick up my shots so I'm gonna work over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna work with that to make sure that a shot timer, the, comp, the, the common uh, CED 7000 shot timers can pick up these shots. Uh, more testing to come on that. But if the shot timer will pick up my shots, I will be using this in a match and uh, having a lot of fun with it. So please stay tuned for that. Um, you know, every gun is, is great or it's not so great, but you that buzzer goes off and you put a gun on the clock and you really find out what a gun is made of. Um, no problems with the uh, supplied uh, Magpul mags. Um, these are actually 21 round uh, P mags that are um, more suited towards competitive use. Um, it does stick out of the bottom of the gun, but that's okay uh, because you know I'm not trying to conceal carry this thing. It's for a competition, so give me some extra rounds. Again, no problems with flickering or anything like that which is fine. Um, I didn't you know, torture test the gun or anything, so again, the heat may be a concern, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't take care of that. So as always, a uh, big thanks to um, Sterling Arsenal. Um, that's where I picked up this gun and a lot of my other uh, NFA stuff. If you're interested in anything you see, um, go on in and check them out. And um, thank you. Welcome back everyone. So today we are at my outdoor range. See I'm actually on the 100 yard bay and we are with the Maxim 9. It is uh, very early here today. In fact it is so early that we can't even start shooting yet so I decided to film some video before we got to the shooting part. Uh, today we are going to shoot the Maxim 9 outdoors with no hearing protection and give you guys a uh, sound of what, what that sounds like. Um, we're also going to do some long range shooting. I don't think I've ever seen anyone shoot a Maxim 9 at 50 or 100 yards, so we're going to do that today and see how it does. 
Um, the ammo we're going to be using today, I want to keep trying to put as much different kinds of ammo as I can through this thing to make sure it'll cycle. So we've got some 147 grain Reman Freedom stuff. Looks like this. And we also have some 147 grain Reman Hollow Point stuff. Which looks like this. Um, it's not a very big hollow point, so I don't expect any feeding problems because the uh, profile of the bullet is fairly round. So we're going to start shooting here in a few minutes, um, and we will get some footage of that. Fortunately, I forgot my GoPro today, so I'm going to be filming this on my cell phone. So the shooting portion um, might be a little unorthodox, but we'll see how we do. Okay, so there's our target for the day, the green uh, man silhouette. It's hard to see, but there's also a 24 inch square steel plate out there right next to it. And uh, after we put some rounds on the man, figure out where we're aiming at 100 yards, uh, we'll try to ring the steel as well with 100 yards. With the uh, Silencer Co. Maxim 9. All right, it's, uh, it's 8 a.m., so we can start shooting. You can see the red dot through the camera there. Uh, so we'll uh, load it up and get ready to go. I will uh, take a couple of shots like this just to uh, put them in the berm, just so you guys can hear it. And then I will actually uh, put the camera down and take some real shots to get on paper, and we'll see uh, see what we can do from there. So without Ear Pro on, there's definitely a little bit of first round pop, but after that, um, it sounds pretty good with no Ear Pro. Again, this is with uh, 140 grain, 147 grain subsonics, and we are in the long configuration. But definitely didn't hurt my ears. It's more than hearing safe. I'm actually under a little bit of a uh, an overhang here, you know, like at an outdoor rifle range. So I'm, it's probably a little louder than it would be if I was just standing out in the open. But all in all, it's very comfortable. All right, now I'm going to take some uh, real shots, No, uh, not on film, try to actually hit the silhouette, and then we'll see if we can't ring some steel. All right, guys, we're going to try to ring this steel target real quick. Just got to hold a little bit above it. Alright, so as you can see, I can uh, pretty reliably hit that 2x2 two two steel target there. Missed a few times, but not too bad. Uh, we'll try to ring the small one real quick. Yeah, there you go. So I was able to hit it at least once with some more practice. I'm sure I could uh, improve that. But that is a uh, hundred yard shooting with the Silencer Co. Maxim 9 and the Trijicon RMR. 